All right, here we go. Big Daddy Shin hanging out. Day 209 at 24 Hour Fitness. So, yes, drove home. It's late. I have something, appointment in the morning. But Oasis is done. So no more program booklets or editing videos and hanging out with hot chicks. Until next year. No, I'm kidding. Actually, I'm probably going to go to another event in September. But, um, yeah, going back to normal. I mean, you know, I feel a sense of normalcy anyway, and it feels really good, right? But uh, I'm glad to be back in the grind, and let's see what happens. So let me check in here. All right, so today, I'm going to talk about sleep, right? So, you know, they say that you're supposed to sleep eight hours, right? So then your body, like, the... Um, Oh gosh, whatever, the, the, the hormone that makes you stress, it, it goes down. The only way it goes down is through uh, sleep. I'll think of what it is. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I can. Okay, but anyways, uh, um, yeah, so what happened was when I was in Mexico, I mean, I always slept late, I always slept like at 12, whatever, anyway, here, right? But then when I was in Mexico, it was a two hour time difference, right? So then I would sleep like at two. And I kept staying up till that late to keep me on LA time so I won't have jet lag when I come back. But there's a problem. When I came back, I still stayed up till two. So it's kind of like Mexico, four o'clock time. And then so I'm going to sleep like at three and four in the morning. And I mean, I was still getting sleep. Hold on, let me sign up on this bike first. Okay. Yes. Ugh. Okay. Okay. 278. Yes, I know what you're thinking. But let me talk about the sleep thing first. There you go, three, two, one. Okay, I guess I could talk about all this stuff too. 270, yeah, I get it. I've stayed up really late and screwed up eating habits. You know, I'm eating the whole egg roll dish at that Center Stage Theater, which are probably the most ridiculous egg rolls I've ever eaten. Because, I don't know, it's just that spicy, or that sauce that they have. I was like, holy crap, this is amazing, right? And I finished the rest of that, you know, the, the dinner, the, the, the Mexican pizza, and then I ate the other half of the vegetarian burrito, some guacamole at home. I mean, you know, drinking water. And also to keep me awake on all these driving hours, I drank Coke. So yeah, I got up to 278, and uh, who cares at this point? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just happy that I lost 10 pounds since Mexico, which is only like, like two weeks ago. So anyways, going back to the sleep thing, right? So what, what I realized is I totally messed up my sleep habits. So even though like when I did those days where I'm working at three, four in the morning, you know, I'd, I'd wake up like at 11, right? Which is not too bad. I mean, you know, if you don't have anywhere to go or whatever, or wake up at 12 and I got the good sleep. But this weekend really screwed me up because not only did I have to get all that stuff done and I had a show to do and yeah, I emceed the show today. Yeah, thank you very much, right? And then... You know, I knew taking Jenna to the airport. So this morning, you know, we got back home at like four, right? We went to breakfast with a lot of the girls and then, you know, took an hour to get back or four. And then we had to leave for the airport at six. So I had two hours of sleep. I was gonna go to the workshop and stuff, but I knew I'd just be exhausted. So I went back home played some Clash Royale, I know, it's, and then uh, um, I slept until 2, and all of a sudden it's like, oh my gosh, my day's totally screwed out of whack, and they're like, oh man, if I have another late night day like this, I'm screwed, besides, I have to be somewhere at 9 tomorrow morning, so I figure, okay, if I sleep by 1, well, I sleep by midnight, but I think I should be able to get it, what time is it? Well, maybe not, okay, but it's, if I get seven hours of sleep, I'll be fine. 
Um, but what happened is, uh, uh, yeah, school is actually going to start soon. I'm like, oh my gosh, where did summer go? Oh, it went to Mexico. I mean, you know, I'm going to have, this next week I have two Disneyland trips. So I'm like, oh my gosh, because, you know, my, my niece and my nephews are in town. So I think some of you guys seen the videos with me and Bria. Now it's going to be me and her sister and her two brothers. Kurt should be there too, and then that's Tuesday. And then Arnold, one of my best friends in the world, his two kids are coming. It's a surprise. But thing is, I don't think they watch my videos, so there's a spoiler alert right there, right? Anyways, we're probably going Friday. Because Thursday night, I'm, I'm going to go to dance class, and then I'm going to go to this, uh, this, uh, I don't know. One of my friends, one of my friends' uh, friend is like playing in some band on Thursday night. If you're okay, rest, get to go and hang out. And then you just see. But right now, I have no idea. All I'm doing is thinking about being on this bike, getting it done, get a good sweat out, and then not be 278. You know, remember I told you I wanted to be like, you know, 269 or the one day. But I kept going out to eat. But, I mean, I never really gained a lot. But, who knows if it's water, salt, wine, or beer. So, I don't know. Today, even though it's 11.18 right now, or 11.20, whatever it is, um, I'm going to do this until I get a good sweat. Yes, I'm going to sweat on my Big Daddy Shin shirt. And, you know, maybe the white part will be all deteriorated after. Who cares? I got a lot of these shirts. So, um, what is it? Yes. So, for sure, 10 miles, maybe I'll do 20. And then, uh, more tomorrow. And then, third Tuesday, I'm debating about doing the whole thing where it's like, okay, you know what? The whole exercise, you know, my walk around all day. But I, I, I'll probably come back here after Disneyland. Just out of habit, you know. Go wind down all my thoughts and see what's going on. But like, you know, the whole sleep thing. Yes, I hear Silent Night in my head as I'm on this bike. That's why I will have to play a game and focus. Oh, by the way, when you drive, long distances, it's so much easier driving before midnight. Today, that drive back home was easy. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's not too bad, right? But then those other days when I did it at three in the morning, oh man, that was horrendous. It's horrible. It's like, it's only one hour, but it feels like four. And then, you know, all of a sudden you realize you're tired, you're like, oh man get a five hour energy drink then you're really screwed because it's only an hour long drive you have a five hour energy drink what are you going to do the next uh, four hours so you know whatever <laughs> when you're that tired you don't think about those things but after I took it and then you know oh my gosh I'm wired yeah but I think that was the day that I I came to the gym really late night too. Was it Friday night? And then, uh, oh yeah, that was the night I went to Georgette's, or uh, Georgette and Michelle to Michelle's house. Yeah, that, that, that wasn't that good. I mean, it was fun, but that, that was hard. That was hard. But. People said I did look like I'm losing weight, but uh, I see a little bit. I mean, you know what? I'm looking down, right? The whole double chin thing like this, and I, I feel pretty good. I think when you could see my neck, I'm in the neckline and stuff, it's fine. But when I wear that Baymax shirt, yeah, it's just a big mound of flesh. But, you know, got to get the sleep, got to shave the head. We'll see. It's all a long process. Not overnight. Remember that. 
Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a game. <laughs> ah, there we go. Pretty good. Not too much sweat. I'm gonna get a drink and then come back. Ugh. Maybe it's because I'm not drinking too much water these days. I mean, I mean, I'm not drinking a lot of wine or anything, but it's uh, yeah, more water. Then maybe I'll sweat more, right? So we'll see what happens. Right. Round two. I can sleep. But I'm not satisfied with the sweat. I am not satisfied. Three, two, one. So yeah, it's kind of weird because I got a 46 mile, 10 mile thing. And uh, I mean, yeah, you know, maybe it's just getting easier or whatever, but but uh, I should be sweating, and I'm starting to feel the sweat come down now. So I think 10 miles is like the warm up before the actual sweat comes out. So I don't know. We'll see. I feel I feel pretty good, but half of it is like I know I I should sleep. Remember, it's all about sleep. Maybe I'll go five miles. Let me see when the sweat starts pouring out, then we'll determine it. All right, finally. After 10 plus 1.55 miles, sweat's coming. I'm glad I did this. All right. Yes, it's time to go. Oh, gosh. Ugh. I need a shower and sleep and get to this thing. So, okay, here we go. All right, here we go, 209 in the books. What's going on, man? So yes, I am excited, I finished. And uh, yeah, 15 miles, that was pretty good. Got some good sweat going. And uh, yeah, need to go home, shower, rest my body. So probably after lunchtime tomorrow, sometime, uh, you know, see my family, go see Harold, and I think I'm gonna do like a 50 mile day tomorrow. Might as well, right? Get my body warmed up for big Disneyland day on Tuesday. But, uh, where's my car? Oh, here it is. So yeah, um, you know, it's about sleep, yes? Something that I hope I get today, I'll get it. Cause it's only like 12.30, so if I have to be there at nine, Go home, sleep, one o'clock, get uh, seven hours, eight o'clock, get ready, go, yeah. That's that, so that's what I gotta do. But you know, it's like this whole seven hours sleep, it's gonna feel like a million hours compared to like what I've been getting. So I need my body to uh, recuperate. So that's what I'm doing. And then I'll be back to normal. Well, I won't be back to normal until I start sleeping like a 10. So, um, the day's coming. The day's coming. And I gotta do it before like a week happens. So, you know, school starts like the following Monday. Oh my goodness. So I gotta do something exciting this week. I mean, I have a, a 30 year reunion. Oh my gosh. But anyways, yeah, so you know, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Okay, anyways. I'm going to go because I'm kind of tired, long day, and then I realize that I have all these like short snippets of video from, uh, you know, Oasis. Put them all together in one big video so, you know, you get to see it. You don't get to see the dance stuff, unfortunately, but just know that there's a lot of good dancing. So anyways, well, I like this angle, yes? I don't know, whatever. Anyways, Big Daddy Shan. Day 209. If I could exercise 209 days in a row, you could exercise 290 days in a row. Because if I could do it, you can do it. And I'm doing it. And yeah. Seems like it's getting easier. I mean, the habit is there. 
the weight loss, I'm not there yet, but I just gotta, I think I just gotta just focus on eating regular. I think today I was thinking, oh, you know what, I could not worry, I had a bowl of cereal. I mean, a little tiny bowl of cereal too, but then, you know, half, not even, it wasn't even half, it was like a, a fourth of that burrito, and then I had like two egg rolls. But I don't think I ate enough calories. Yeah, I probably only ate like a thousand calories a day, so I mean, that sucks. I gotta eat more. But I gotta eat more good stuff, so we'll see. Alright, anyways, gotta go. So I'll see you next time.